Hello and welcome to the uh, instructions for the Phantom 4 standard drop system. This is uh, different than the Phantom 3 device in which that it snaps over the landing gear as opposed to the notches inside of the landing gear and very similar to the Phantom 4 Pro. The differences are explained in another video. You can go on the videos page of phantomdropsystem.com and check it out. But the long and short of it is it, uh, we, the landing gear base is a bit wider. Other than that, it works very much the same as the Phantom 4 Pro. To load the device, you pull on the bolt, push on the pin at the same time. Trigger the device, the camera hits the trigger, drops the payload. If this device is hooked on, you take the sky hook, place it in the payload area, pull and push, and it is ready to go. Due to the fact that I've put the device over the top of the landing legs, it's given me uh, about 10 millimeters of, well, it, it says this is a testing unit, but anyway, this is an area in which it keeps the sway from, if you have a payload on here, it starts swaying if this box isn't here and kind of makes your drone do a little bit of a toilet bowl, so that was the intent of that. But the camera hits the trigger and drops the payload. So let's get on to how we attach it to the drone. Unlike the uh, Phantom 3 system, you can take this system before you do anything and uh, attach it to the drone before you initialize your camera. This is the trigger, this is the payload area. Put it towards the back and snap it on. Turn on your controller. Turn on your drone. And there's our famous tone, and you let the camera initialize without hitting the device because if it keeps banging against it, it will not initialize. So once you have that going, you go into your Go app. And we'll pull it over here. You go into the Go app since this is big enough. Get rid of that. Go into your main controller settings, find the controller icon, and you want to make one of your C2 or C1 buttons, which are on the bottom. Um, make sure that it says camera forward slash down. We're going to do it to both because C2 is on the right. It'll keep my hand out of the way. And once you see it, you can see the camera tilts quickly down, and that's how we get our kinetic energy to trigger the device. And say you're on the ground, I push this forward to generally right below the camera sensor box. The best way to handle this is to make sure that it is lined up just about with this second rubber line on the bottom of the landing gear. Load it up. And release your payload. You take your sky hook, pull back on the bolt while pushing on the pin, insert, hit your C2, C1 button, and it drops your payload. Now let me say that this has been tested up to one pound and has dropped a payload with one pound. Half a pound drops every time, but a one pound is tough because it pulls on the pin and kind of holds it down. So what you have to do is, say you're a fisherman guy, which we have a lot of, you just shake your uh, your roll axis and give it a little shake and it will drop. Other than that, you're ready to go.